This is where some helping hands becomes good. Um, if you don't have somebody to help you, grab a plant. Because you need something to basically just hold that upright while you're soldering the wire and pulling it out. So take your soldering iron, grab your wire, you want to kind of pull on your wire while you heat up the solder and melt it. And out comes the wire. And now we'll grab our yellow, which we already had situated. I already snapped it, but I need to get it out here. I know it's a knockoff, but I think it's going to look great. Grab your yellow wire. Oh, it, sweetheart. Yellow wire is this one here. There's the yellow wire. Okay, so now grab the yellow wire. You actually forgot your piece up. And pull it out. And now the last wire is the green wire. Now when you stick it in there, you want to be very careful. You want to sit there and kind of feel um, through the needle nose so you can catch hold of that wire. And so grab the green wire and out it comes. You have now lobotomized the servo. The pedometer is still inside, but there's no connections to the circuit board anymore. So now at this point, what we have to do is make some adjustments to the gears. So open it up very carefully. Get you a piece of paper so that you can situate your gears. And you want to remember which way you got them because they have to go in the same order. You'll have two gears that are sitting on top of each other. You want to remember which one goes up and which one goes down. And in this case, the shaft came out here. You want to make sure you put the shaft there because there's two shafts that do like to come out. That shaft and this shaft. So take those two shafts out so you don't have to worry about them. Now, right here is your little pedometer piece. So you want to lift that off. And that can be just discarded. You don't need it anymore. You can still see the, the center of the pedometer right there. And so at this point here, you can take and put the shafts back in. Oops. Trying to get the shaft back in there. And try not to lose too much of their of the uh, grease because you do want to keep the grease in there as much as possible. Yeah, let's grab a different different tool to hold this thing in there. Okay, now this upper part also has an O-ring and you do want to keep it. 
You don't want grease getting or dirt getting in where your grease is. So put put this uh, O ring back in place. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and you put this gear back in. Put this gear back in. And when you put them back in, you want to make sure that you line them up so that they get onto each other. Put this one back in here, like that. Hold on, no, not yet, not yet. You're going to have to put that one back in. But before you do, you need to take and cut the stop off. Now what the stop is, is this little piece right here. And what it does is it swings around and hits on these spots here to keep it from turning. So we want it to turn continuously. So, nice little trusty piece of dikes. And it's a nylon gear, so you can just trim it off like that. And then take a, uh, a nice little utility knife and trim that down so that there's nothing of it. Alright. Now it won't, won't stop anything. So you can put this one back in place there. Now put this gear back in here. And line it up. And now you can put this gear back in place here. Line it up. Okay, with your gears all back in, take and put your lid back on. Like that. And now we're ready to hook up the wires. Now one of the things I do is I take and trim this open a little bit more. so that I have a place for my new wires to come out of. It doesn't have to be big. But you do want it smooth because if you've got any little ridges in there, they can cut your wires and you don't want that. Now, I've got collection of wire that I took off some old motors. And what I do, these are four conductor wires. I only want to use three of them. And my colors are supposed to be red, yellow, and orange, or, or red, yellow, and green. So what I do is I use the red, orange, and yellow wires. So this brown wire, I go ahead and I pull off. I just trim it. To get it out of the way. Pull. About, about three quarters of an inch or so of the wire. Trim a little bit off the end. Twist your wires. Now we're going to tin the wires. And you tin the wires by basically putting a little bit of solder on. Okay. So. Take and put a little bit of solder on the wires.
This helps hold the wires, keep them from fraying. It also makes it a lot easier when you go to solder mod. Now if you tin the wires. On little things like that, make sure you go in. You want to trim them a little bit. So you have them like that. And now we've just got to solder them back into place. And you want to keep them basically the same coloring. That way you know what needs to go on this end. So on this, we're going to take the red wire. Then grab a little bit of solder. Lay the wire there. Get a little bead of wire of solder. Now we're going to do the yellow. A little bit of solder. Take the yellow one. This is where the helping hands come good again. Okay, so we're going to take the yellow wire. Put it in. And we'll get a little bead of solder. And we do the orange wire. Now the orange is basically going to take the place of the green. Um, now you can use any any three colors you want, but I would recommend that you try to keep them pretty close to each other. And so now you've got now you got the wires soldered. Lay your wires flat. Take your cover, place it back over, put your screws back in, You've got an external photometer connection and you're ready to test it.